Hi everyone, it's Jamie with Happiness Creative Photography. Um, <laughs> It's Jamie with Happiness Creative Photography. You gotta look at the camera. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Jamie with Happiness Creative Photography. I am here with my boyfriend, Dwight, if you don't know him. Um, I had him do a little bit of homework this week and look up some questions that he's gonna interview me about with my photography so then you guys can get to know me better. So, here we go. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm nervous, but I'm ready. What is the most difficult part of being a photographer? I think, honestly, the most difficult part about being a photographer is prices. I want to get my business out there and I want to get my work out there, but I also have to think I have to think about what people would pay for and then also the amount of work that I'm putting into. And I'm still trying to figure that out, like to this day, trying to figure out like prices and the business part instead of the creativity part, the business part. What is most rewarding? Most rewarding would be when I send them out their photos and they send me a text back or message me like on social media or something like that saying that they're so happy with their pictures and that um, the other thing that's really rewarding is like when I do a wedding and then they're like, we're gonna use you for, you know, baby pictures. You know, they think about me for the next time. That's the most rewarding. What do you like least about being a photographer? What I like least about being a photographer is I feel unless you're a photographer, you don't understand like the amount of hours you put into editing. And I used to be like that too before I took on the business part of a photographer. When I used to get my pictures done, I would always be like, when am I getting my pictures done? It's been a week, but now I understand that it takes time. Like, not only are you paying the photographer for taking your photos right then and there, but you also have to think about their time going home and editing the pictures too. What do you like the most about being a photographer? What I like the most is interacting with people and then um, just, Having those clients that, you know, like I said, they want you there for their engagement, they want you there for their weddings, they want you there for their um, maternity pictures, their newborn baby pictures, their family pictures. Like, sometimes you get these clients that you literally, like, walk through their life with, and it's just an honor to be a part of that. Why did you choose to pursue a career as a photographer? Um, there's actually a couple reasons. I used to like do this as a side job hobby. And then I realized that I wanted to like be my own boss. And with COVID, that actually kind of made me jump into it more and like pursue it more. Where do you see yourself in five years with your photography? I try to put as much hours into my photography now, um, but I just hope that it will be a 40 hour job and it will, I could, you know, just have that because right now I have another job um, in case I don't get a lot of bookings a month, you know, things like that. So I hope that in the next five years I'm like set, like people know me more and people know my, um, my photography business more and I can just keep booking people and make that a full-time job. What photo editing program do you use? I use Pixlr. And funny story, I am using Pixlr because one time my computer just completely gave out on me in the middle of editing and I saved some of the pictures, but the program that I was using, um, which I just downloaded onto my computer, it just like gave out on me and I was freaking out. I was like, how am I going to edit the rest of these pictures? And you <laughs> were like, don't worry, calm down, take some breaths. Um, and you looked up Pixlr, which is awesome because it's, I mean, if you're a photographer yourself, I recommend Pixlr um, because it's very similar to Photoshop and it's free. 
What is your favorite subject to photograph? My favorite subject? I, as stressful as weddings can be, I gotta say weddings are my favorite. There's just so much love in the pictures, you know? It's an atmosphere. Yeah, like, you know, you get love from the bride and groom, and then you also, you know, get pictures of the love with the family, and that's really fun to do. How do you make money from your photography? Um, so my prices right now, um, and they might change next year, because I'm still, like, advancing and stuff like that, but Right now my prices are only, for one hour, it's 125 and you get 30 edited pictures. Uh, if you want to do a 30 minute session, uh, which is mostly for like boudoir pictures or like pet photography, you know, things like that. Very simple pictures, headshots, um, then that's $75 and you'll get 15 edited pictures. And then, obviously, I do edit more pictures, um, and you can purchase those online, and they're only $3 um, per picture for digital downloads. So you can download those onto your computer and onto your phone, and you have them forever. What do you listen to when you're editing? Um, I listen to country music, or I listen to Noah Cyrus. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just listen to podcasts. I like listening, and I'll have to show you her podcast, and I'll even uh, tag her in this video. She'll have absolutely no idea, but um, her spot or her Spotify podcast is Maddie Cat, and she talks about like her pregnancy right now. She's having a little boy, and then um, just like her life. Um, I really liked her anxiety. Um, podcast and then she does an interview with her husband mm -hmm. so I like her so I'll listen to her sometimes. <laughs> you cope with the long hours of work? <sighs> I call you up. <laughs> no I call, call you up, I call my friends up um, just to see what they're doing you know put the computer away for a little bit go eat something you know relax because sometimes like when you're sitting there editing um, my back starts to hurt so I gotta like stretch and everything like that but I kind of take some time to like okay you've been editing for hours now or okay you just photographed for hours today and I'll take like a day break and then I'll be back to work so you ever need assistance with your business yes um, my brother has been helping me out a lot with um, just finance stuff, so shout out to my brother. Kayla is very, very helpful. Kayla is my editing assistant. Uh, sometimes she'll like go with me to weddings and photograph some weddings with me. But if there's like, if there's a client that like, for example, one client wanted um, me to add in one of her kiddos to the pictures because he wasn't able to make it that day, and I, I'm not as professional as Kayla with the editing, so I'll call up Kayla and be like, can you do this for me? And she does amazing work. Um, so she is very, very helpful, so thank you, Kayla. Kayla's the one that was in the other videos, right? Yes, okay. yes. You'll see her in some of my YouTube videos. Nice. What do you think about when you edit your photos? There's sometimes anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's not just anxiety though, like, there is that anxiety of, oh my gosh, I really hope they like their photos, but then there also too is, oh my gosh, they're gonna love this picture, you know, so it's kind of a balanced, you know, feeling of, okay, I really want them to like this, are they gonna like it, you know, just wondering, and then I see a picture, and I'm like, okay, there's no worry in my head about this picture, <laughs> so... Alright, well that's all the questions I have. Those are pretty good questions. I'm actually really proud of you for doing your homework. Thanks. And I appreciate it too, so thank you. Yeah. So guys, if you have any questions for me that Dwight didn't ask me, feel free to leave a comment of it, um, or you guys can message me on my social media. Whatever works, I will try to answer as many questions as I can. Um, and like, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff on YouTube that you can do and we will see you later.
Bye. Oh. <laughs>